Redditors who have met a former crush years later, how did it turn out? Found out she was fat and unattractive. Then I realized I was too. Ran into her some years later in our mid-twenties at a New Year's party. We both were just recently single and started to click. Eventually we both confessed to a mutual crush in high school. Then as the night went on and beer flowed, she jerked off two random guys in the living room. I liked her when we were 15, but she wasn't nice to me. I ran into her when we were 23, and she looked so old I didn't recognize her. When she realized I didn't recognize her, she began to cry and ran to the bathroom. Never saw her again. He always said, I want to be a cop. I'll never be a fucking firefighter. Firefighters are pusses. Cops are the real men. He became an army firefighter, but instead of being humbled he's still a total douche. Had a crush on her all through freshman and sophomore year. She kissed me at the end of sophomore year. I failed to reciprocate. Basically ran away from her. Extreme social anxiety. I switched schools after disappearing for the summer. Not because of the kiss, but when school started again I walked to her school every day for half of the year in hopes of having the balls to make a move. Saw her each day. Failed each day. She obviously got tired of waiting. Ended up with another guy. I gave up. Come end of senior year she shows up at my school to see some guy. Saw me, literally jumped into my arms, and forced her phone number on me. Together 7 years come November. I proposed to her around a week ago. When I was in first year I had the stupidest little girl crush on this guy in my program. And I had no idea how to express it. So I think I thoroughly creeped him out with my staring and pathetic attempts to get him to have coffee with me and such. Anyway, that was 8 years ago, and I've really matured as a person since then. I hadn't even thought of him in years when I ran into him. I was actually excited to find out he worked at a store I was planning to go to. I thought I can finally have a normal conversation with, crush, he'll see I'm not a creepy weirdo anymore. Anyway, when I ran into him our conversation went like this. Me, hey, crush, how's it going? Him, good thanks, how are you? Me, good thanks, how are you? And then it just spiraled into awkwardness from there. Guess some people just bring it out of me. Went out for drinks, still fixated on her. Was given a chance. Got wasted and embarrassed myself by spending so much of the night talking about how much my younger self liked her. Extolling her virtues, like it was years ago. Mentioned how crazy and awesome it was that I was finally getting my chance. It was sad as shit. I didn't realize how bad I fucked up until I sobered up. Woke up and immediately knew I would not be given a second opportunity. Saw her reactions and responses from the previous night with a sober eye. Realized the massive amount of I'm going to be polite, but I've made a mistake that was continuously written across her face. Embarrassing as shit. It seems that the girls I was chasing in high school, if I see them now it's like, I don't see what the big deal was. And then the girls I wasn't chasing, but in retrospect should have been, are all insanely gorgeous, funny, smart. If I had a time machine I'd go back and punch 15 year old me right in the bean bag. Idiot. Ran into my high school crush, because we were both on the same plane, and seated across the aisle from each other. She's a lesbian now. Let's see, met her when I was 13, we totally crushed. Fast forward to when we are both 23. She has a kid from a previous marriage, but it didn't bother me. Got married, she cheated, tried to take me for child support for her daughter. Two tenths would not recommend. Her last name is very close to mine so throughout high school our lockers were together, or we'd have seats in class next to each other. She was a cheerleader, incredibly hot and also a cool person. We were friends but nothing close. I ran into her 4 years later. She dropped out of college, and is waiting tables now. But she got even hotter. Still a really nice girl though. We started a small thing, when we were around 17 years old. Didn't work out cause she was spoiled, and I was pretty heartless asshole. Fast forward a few relationships for us both 11 years of growth, and she came back into my life a few months ago. We are dating and life is pretty good now couldn't ask for anything more. Sometimes it's the right person, but the wrong time. She was in my class back in kindergarten, in my class again in third grade. Showed her my boxes, and she was now my girlfriend. 
Then I discovered she cheated on me with my best friend. I saw him showing her his underwear. Needless to say I've moved on from that event in my life. But if you are out there Olivia or Matt, fuck you. Will likely be buried forever. But, what the hell. Had a crush on this girl in grade school. First slash second. Played it. Video games. Action figures. Life was good. Bought her a present at a 5 and 10. Because I thought she'd like it. It was a ring. She was ultra embarrassed and ran off. My parents still have not let me forget that. She changed schools for other reasons. That next year. Fast forward 14 years. Graduated from undergrad. Working for a company in my hometown. And working on getting accepted to medical school. About 4 drinks one night with friends. And who should come by but her? Beautiful great taste in music. Smiles at my jokes. Smitten. Fast forward several more years. Gave her a ring again. She did not run away. Happily married several years. <laughs> Saw her at the 10 year HS reunion. She was a bit heavier than she'd been in HS. But still attractive. She was there with her Ivy League fiancé. These two facts combined to change my mindset for my wanna bang my HS crush at our reunion to oh well. Never mind. At one point, we were being recognized for something, and with all eyes on us, she leaned over and said, I remember what a crush you had on me. You wanted me bad. First, I couldn't really react, given the immediate circumstances. Second, I didn't detect any kind of Taco Bell type invitation in what she'd said. Sorry. In fact, it almost seemed like she was just lording it over me. I mean, she was there with her fiancé who, we'd determined in previous small talk, she loathed and who was awesome. For some reason, it really pissed me off. I just gave her a blank look, shrugged, and walked away. To this day, I wish I'd had some kind of witty comeback, but that's about my only regret. Haven't seen her since, but I hope she's happy, and blah, blah, blah. We're married now. Had mega crush in high school. Finally contacted him 6 years later, since I knew him back then, and we haven't been apart since. Now we have been together for 4 years, married for 1, and have a baby on the way. Dreams really do come true I don't care how cheesy that sounds. I was in love with him for most of my lower teenage years. He was my best friend, but I broke it off when I found out he'd been talking shit behind my back. I never thought he meant what he said about me, but I do know he was desperate to be liked by people, and didn't mind shitting on me to seem cooler to them. Of course the people he talked to told me about it. I sent him a handwritten letter explaining what I'd heard, and also that I was still in love with him, and couldn't be just friends. We met up, when I was 19, about 3 years, since we'd last seen each other. He was as charming as he'd always been. And I realized how quickly we fell back into our previous roles. Him, being cool but kind of an asshole, and me, hanging off his every word. I'm happy we met up, because it gave me some closure, to realize I didn't feel the same as I did about him, and that he was even more of an asshole. I still think about him sometimes but much more soberly than I did, when we still hung out. <laughs> Crushed hard and competed for a really cute girl in college, but when she moved in with him, I closed the door on things. Years later she sought me out on Facebook as apparently for her, I was the one that got away. It lead to a tawdry on again, off again, mostly sexual tryst in which we determined the things we did best were fighting, or f asterisk 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 ing which we cycled through quarterly, until about a 4 year break due to mutual animosity. We made up, had an amazing year, and broke up again in a heart wrenching explosion that stings to this day. Super. We originally met my freshman year of high school, his senior year. Three years later, we met again. I still had a crush. We became really good friends, then started dating after I graduated. We are now married, and have been for over two years. We had a beer, talked a bit. It was nice. She was even hotter than before. I was now swole, made decent money, decent haircut clothes etc. Thought I had a shot, I clean up real good. She never called me back when I asked her to go to a show. Last I looked on Facebook she's married now. That was like 6 or 7 years ago. Now I just quietly weep in the dark and drink and watch Netflix. Don't go out much anymore. Thanks op for reminding me. Jackass. <laughs> Tried to pull an ultimatum on me in high school. Do this or we're over. I called her bluff and that's how our relationship ended. 
10 ish years later we are both single, and I visit her on a lark. Turns out she's sleeping with a divorced man, and trying to get him to abandon his wife and daughter. Yeah. Also her apartment was absolutely filthy. I mean I'm no prize, but I've tried to ruin exactly zero families. But, we've been dating for almost a year now. He was my crush back in junior high, he didn't even know me, he was in the French stream, I was in English. We connected over 10 years later on Tinder. He asked what my spirit animal was, and I said Iggy Azalea and that was that. I wasn't all that interested in him when we went out, but for some reason it worked out. I didn't tell him until our fifth date that I already knew him from before. He looks like a taller version of what he did back then, it's a little weird. I had a crush on the daughter of my mom's friend when I was about 10 years. We would hang out a lot, sometimes all night, when our moms were working together at the coat check of the restaurant my dad valeted for. She was definitely my first big crush, but I was a shy, awkward kid. I remember one of the last times we hung out, I gave her my favorite Lion King trading card, because I like her. After our moms got new jobs, we didn't see each other anymore. The next time I saw her was when we were 18. She was really different, and even though she was still really cute, I didn't feel the same way about her. We talked for a bit and caught up. She showed me pictures of her son. Apparently she had gotten pregnant when she was 17, and had a beautiful baby boy that her mom looked after, so she could finish school. It was a nice experience, especially finding out what she had been up to all those years. Had a crush on the high school QB, and his family was royalty in my school. It was a very small town that worshipped football and his family had been players going back 4 generations or something like that. But in terms of popularity, this guy wasn't just out of my league. He was out of my stratosphere. Fast forward 10 years. I'm newly single, and he looks me up on the book. Flirting plus admitting I had a huge crush on him in school equals date. Effing score for me, yeah, yeah, no. I get to his place and he's living in a 300 square foot box. Still driving that 89 pickup from HS. Talking about how he was king shit. Still caught up in being worshipped in school and clearly couldn't grasp why the real world didn't do the same. Can you believe, Reddit, that he actually had to prove himself? The god of nerve of his boss. Ate dinner, the man did grill one halluva steak, and no doubt. All through elementary and middle school I was absolutely enamored with this one girl. As kids in elementary school we did that cute as EBF slash GF thing without actually being in a relationship. I thought we would get married and have like a thousand kids. In middle school she became a bad kid. I guess she had some trouble at home. And her entire demeanor shifted during summer. She became an emo kid. Started hanging out with the kids who go arrested. And was in and out of the principal's office non-stop. I still tried hanging out with her, because I was still crushing hard, but we were just too different now. I was into awkward masturbation and rune escape, she was into hot topic, and giving hand jobs to high schoolers behind the gas station. Eventually she was sent to juvie and that was the last I heard of her. Fast forward to a few weeks ago, I'm home on summer break from college, and I find her on Tinder. We match and talk for a few days, she ended up getting knocked up in HS, and dropping out due. To being a single mom. She mentions meeting up for some coffee and maybe a movie at her place. I just unmatched her. Something about seeing how she turned out just ruined the illusion for me.